Previously on Kung Fu Maintenance, I showed you a storage solution where you could store s whole sets of vertical blinds and other items uh, up on the roof in between rafters of a storage shed uh, without nails or screws and an easy way to get them back down and also a little bit of strategy about labeling and whatnot to make maintenance easier. Today I'm showing you how to do custom size lengths making it easier to replace vertical blinds when you need to to grab the slats that you need and uh, ordering custom sizes just kind of my strategy for it some ideas hope it helps and hope you enjoy the video hope you like it and it serves you well custom size i find it cheaper you know you can order the slats but they won't be cut to your custom size mine are 81 inch and standard size is 84 inch so it's about a dollar per slat, and it's about $30, somewhere around there, you know, give or take a little bit, for a whole set. So to me, it's cheaper to buy a new set and have it custom cut to size in my 81 inches, and then, uh, then I've got a whole set of 30 vertical blinds and an extra headrail. It's like, kind of like you get the headrail and the valance and the mounting hardware for free. So that's kind of been my strategy, and then once in a while, I'll take a new set and I'll put it up top and then I'll work from that until I need another set so that's just my strategy for vertical blind survival okay here's my strategy for vertical blind flat a long time ago I was sent these boxes with a set of vertical blinds that I ordered from a company and then just mounted them to the ceiling now I can take my whole set that I just took from another set and put it up inside here and work this down. I might have showed some of this in another video, but then I can work from here. And now when I need a new vertical blind, flat. You can just take them from there and then you go flat. You just grab from here. Now, sometimes you'll run into different size. I've got some different sizes. And what I've done here is on the door frame, it's just marked my common size. So what I can do is take a slat. Okay. And then just hold it up to my template. And now I know I've got the correct size vertical bone. Okay. Otherwise, if something was wrong, trimmed wrong, then at least I would know, or just a fast deal to know I'm grabbing the correct size. Save some unnecessary mileage on the feet. I actually need 17 of them, so it's going to be about half the set, but you know, just kind of showing you my survival guide for vertical blinds. A little bit of strategy. Everybody's got theirs, just giving you some ideas.